Hi, today is September 10th, 2024, and here are my poems for the day. The first one is poem number 1410 for the year, What's Real? Approach the ferry terminal as the city is waking up and be blinded by the sun and its reflection in the East River. This is what happens when you catch an early enough ferry. This is what happens when you get your fat ass out the door in time. This is what happens if the weather permits. And if you allow yourself to be diverted from your petty shit, from your destination, from your desire to be on time, and from all the things that will distract you from the real, then you might catch a glimpse of what's real. Poem number 1411, An Approach. She uses they-them pronouns for God, so, for example, she might speak of seeking through prayer and meditation to improve her conscious contact with God as she understood them, praying only for knowledge of their will for her and the power to carry it out. It struck me as possibly efficacious, but also a possibly confusing approach, because you have that same old they-them problem. Does she mean God as or in more than one persons, or is she a monotheistic believer in a non-binary or non-gendered God? I didn't ask in part because I was afraid that I might be disappointed in her answer, but she gave me something to think and feel about, so I am grateful to her, and maybe one day I will ask. Poem number 1412, The Welcoming. He didn't like the word God because he found it too limiting. He told me that he might never settle on a name for what he believes, but that he occasionally chooses a name based on what he feels or believes at the time. And when he, what he believes shifts or changes, he changes the name. Then he told me that lately he had been calling his God Murray, and then he welcomed me to Murray Hill. I like the neighborhood so far. Poem number 1413, The Cafeteria. They told their self more than they needed to know, and they had grown tired and disillusioned and so full of unnecessary trivia that they felt heavy and weighed down and inert. So they emptied their mind of almost everything and began again with a clean slate, but they felt so mindless and stupid, so they visited the cafeteria of consciousness and took only what they needed and left the rest. And they were grateful that the cafeteria wasn't all you can eat because they would have pigged out on that shit and would have ended up right back where they had started. And the last poem of the day, poem number 1414, Dirty. I'm in the mood to get into some really dirty shit, not actual shit, more like mud or filth or slime. I want to get deep into the funk, swim in the sludge, get real dirty, make a goddamn fucking mess. I want to get lost in the dirtiest dirt, as if being submerged in it could somehow wash me clean, but I literally just took a shower right in the middle of number 1412, so I'm going to try not to get dirty again for at least a half an hour. All right, that's it. Thank you. I appreciate you.